So what we're going to do here is just run through simply setting up a top rope anchor. So here I am first putting on some screw carabiners onto the bolts here. So you've clipped myself in with a lanyard already to protect myself because I'm quite near the edge. Now depending which country you come from it will depend if you just use snap links here or use screw carabiners. Now I'm attaching my sling. In this case it's a rope sling of 120 centimeters making sure that the sewn end is near one of the first carabiners. So it doesn't get involved with any knots we're going to make. Remember to screw up both carabiners nice and fast there. Looking at the direction, so I'm going to try and balance both these the same. And now I'm going to put a simple overhand knot, as you can see, just making sure that it's dressed and right tight. And I'm just going to check here to make sure that it's equally balanced on both the bolts. So if one of them was a fail, there was no shock loading. I'm now adding one screw carabiner, and now I'm going to add a backup, in this case, a snap link. I'm going to reverse the gate and connect it. Depending on which country you come from again, some people may argue you need to have two screw gate carabiners. But I think one snap link and a screw gate carabiner is good enough. I'm now going to put the rope on. So in this case, the first what I'm going to do here is put a stopper knot at the end. This is just a barrel knot. And that means I'm closing the system. It means I'm going to abseil down the route. There's no chance of me abseiling off the end. I'm putting another one on the other end as well. Even if I know that there's enough rope, it's a good idea just to get in the practice of doing this. And I'm just going to prepare the rope. Even on a small sort of climb like this, it's a really good idea to make sure the rope, when you drop it, just comes undone in one go instead of getting knotted up. It's a real pain if you suddenly throw it down and walk to the base of the crag and find it's all knotted up halfway down. So now I'm going to clip it in into one carabiner and screw it up the screw gate this time and then clip in the reversed snap link. Just going to make sure that when I throw the rope it leaves from the top of the stack and therefore doesn't get any kind of knots or jammed up on the way down. Quick look, make sure that no one's there. Calling out is a good idea as well. In this case, I can see all the way down. I just throw the rope and there it is, nice and tight. So I'm just going to check the carabiners one more time. In this case, oh, here we go. I'm clipping into the, the central point to protect myself and now checking everything is okay. And it's good to go. Checking everything's okay with the rope. And I'm happy and happy with that. In the other situation here, the bolts at the top of the crag are not hanging over the edge. So I've got to set up the same way. Check the bolts first, two screw gate carabiners. I'm going to use my 120 rope sling again, making sure that the sewn end is going to be near one of the carabiners. So screwing it up and then dropping it over the edge. If you feel the need, it's a good idea to have a backup so you don't fall off yourself. It's a bit more tricky to get them balanced on both sides, but there you go. I've got it balanced, I tie it up again with a simple overhand knot. I put on my screw carabiner and again the snap link reverse gated to give it extra security. I put it down there, have a quick look, and I'm not happy. Where the carabiner is, the knot is hanging over the edge isn't really that good. Maybe there's an edge and the carabiners may be leaning on a little ledge there and that's not good. So I'm just going to change out the sling. There's many ways of doing this. But one of the easiest ways is to get a longer sling. Luckily for me I have a longer sling with me in the form of a 160 rope sling. Again I make sure the sewn section is near one of the carabiners so I don't include it in any knots or anything like that. Clip it into the other one. Yep. Balance them off so they're equalised. Put in my overhand knot. And now connect my screw carabiner. And now reverse gate my snap link. In this case I've got the rope nicely set up already. Clip it into one carabiner, clip it into the other and screw up the carabiner. And I can just place it over. Much happier with that setup now. The 
it's hanging right off the edge and the carabiners are not, are not going to be in any conflict with the rock. Again, just checking that I have my stopper knots in. The rope is already set up to be running from the top. And just throw it down. Had a quick look to make sure there was nobody there. And then it's gone. Just a quick little look here to make sure that it's good. Make sure the carabiners are making sure that they're rotated the right way around and there's no conflict there. Checking again to make sure the carabiners at the top are again not in conflict with anything. And I'm good to go.